Frederick Douglass was a man of many contradictions. Born into slavery in Talbot County, Maryland in 1818, he was denied the basic human right of freedom for the first 20 years of his life. Yet, despite being treated as property and subjected to brutal physical and emotional abuse, Douglas was able to teach himself to read and write, an act that was illegal for enslaved people at the time. This early demonstration of intellectual curiosity and resourcefulness would foreshadow a lifetime of struggle and triumph in the face of overwhelming odds. In 1838, at the age of 20, Douglas escaped from slavery and made his way to New York City. There, he was introduced to the abolitionist movement and began speaking out against slavery and advocating for the rights of African Americans. His natural talent as an orator and writer quickly became apparent, and he soon became a leading voice in the movement. In 1845, Douglas published his autobiography, Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave. The book was an instant success, selling over 30,000 copies in the first five years of its publication. It was a searing indictment of the cruelty and injustice of the institution of slavery, and it brought Douglas national recognition as a powerful voice for justice and freedom. But even as Douglas became a symbol of hope and inspiration for many, his personal life was marked by tragedy and perplexity. He struggled to reconcile his own identity as a formerly enslaved person with the expectations of the society around him. He married twice, but both of his wives suffered from mental illness, and he was often forced to bear the burden of their care on his own. His relationship with his children was also fraught, as he struggled to balance his role as a public figure with his responsibilities as a father. Despite these challenges, Douglas continued to fight tirelessly for the rights of African Americans. He founded the North Star newspaper in 1847 and used it as a platform to speak out against slavery and discrimination. He also worked closely with other abolitionists, including William Lloyd Garrison and Harriet Beecher Stowe, and traveled extensively throughout the United States and Europe, delivering speeches and advocating for the cause. During the Civil War, Douglas served as a consultant to President Abraham Lincoln and helped recruit African-American soldiers for the Union Army. He continued to fight for the rights of African-Americans after the war, advocating for voting rights and equal protection under the law. He was a delegate to the 1872 Republican National Convention and served as a diplomat to Haiti in 1889. Douglas died in 1895 at the age of 77, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire people around the world to this day. His life was marked by burstiness, moments of intense struggle and hardship punctuated by moments of triumph and success. And yet, despite the challenges he faced, he remained committed to the cause of justice and freedom, fighting tirelessly for the rights of those who had been denied them for far too long. In a world that still struggles with issues of racism and discrimination, his example remains as relevant and inspiring as ever. Frederick Douglass was known for his eloquence and his ability to distill complex ideas into powerful and memorable quotes. Here are five of his most famous quotes, along with an explanation of their meaning. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. This quote is from a speech Douglass delivered in 1857. It means that in order to make progress or achieve anything worthwhile, there must be obstacles to overcome. Without struggle, there can be no growth or change. It is easier to build strong children than to repair broken men. This quote reflects Douglas's belief that education and moral instruction are crucial for young people. If children are raised with strong values and a sense of their own worth, they are more likely to grow up to be productive and responsible adults. Power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did and it never will. This quote, from a speech Douglas gave in 1857, means that those in power will not willingly give up their power or privilege unless they are forced to do so. In order to effect change, those who are oppressed must demand their rights and make their voices heard. I prayed for freedom for 20 years, but received no answer until I prayed with my legs. This quote is often cited as an example of Douglas's determination and courage. It means that he did not wait for someone else to free him from slavery, but instead took matters into his own hands and escaped. In other words, he put his prayers into action. It is not light that we need, but fire. 
it is not the gentle shower, but thunder. We need the storm, the whirlwind, and the earthquake. This quote, from a speech Douglas gave in 1852, means that in order to effect real change and bring about justice, we need to be bold and assertive. We cannot be satisfied with gradual or incremental progress. We need to demand real, substantive change, even if it means creating chaos and upheaval. We appreciate your support in watching our videos. If you enjoy learning about political, business, writer and science leaders' biographies and quotes, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up to help us grow and continue bringing you valuable content.